country as a whole, because we get asked that all the time, still remains at low risk. But when we say that, we want to underscore that this is an evolving situation. A man in Washington state is the first person in the United States to die from coronavirus. Good evening, I'm Jay Cunningham in for Devin Bartolotta. Health officials say the man was in his late 50s and had a pre-existing condition. Today, President Trump announced the death from the White House. Vice President Pence says the U.S. is banning travel to Iran, which has had the most reported coronavirus deaths outside of China. He adds they'll also elevate the travel advisory for parts of Italy and South Korea. On Monday, I'll be meeting with the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world, actually. They'll be coming to the White House, and we're talking about a vaccine and developing very quickly, and they've already started working on it. One recently reported case is the first in a U.S. healthcare worker. The Trump administration says it's working to ensure production of 35 million more face masks each month to help protect those workers. No coronavirus cases have been reported here in Louisiana, but as the virus spreads across the country, our Eyewitness News team talked to local doctors to find out the best ways to protect yourself. Megan Key brings us the details from LSU Health and Science Center. As of right now, the CDC reports 69 cases of the coronavirus in the U.S. 22 people were diagnosed with the virus in the states and 47 tested positive for the virus elsewhere and were transported back to America. That includes visitors in Wuhan, China and people aboard the Diamond Princess cruise ship. According to the CDC, the virus spreads easily from person to person contact and is transmitted through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. It can also spread from contact with infected surfaces or objects. The symptoms are similar to the flu and include coughing, shortness of breath, and a fever. The CDC says symptoms would appear 2 to 14 days after exposure. Health officials advise anyone who's traveled to an area with widespread coronavirus cases to self-isolate themselves for 14 days. If you do feel ill within that time frame, that um, you call your physician before you go anywhere. You want to call ahead of time, say you were either exposed to a person that had the coronavirus or you've had the travel history so that they can plan to pick you up safely and um, so the hospital can plan ahead of time as well. With thousands of visitors just in New Orleans for Mardi Gras, it brings forth the uneasy question of if the city is at risk. The good news about that is it's out door activity, so air currents help disperse any germs. As of now, there are no cases of the coronavirus in Louisiana, but there are practices you can do to stay safe, like washing your hands for 20 seconds, avoiding contact with sick people, and disinfecting frequently touched surfaces. I don't know that we need to all wear masks in public places all the time at this point. Um, time will tell if that's a necessary thing or if public gatherings are going to have to be closed or not. It just depends on how widespread it is. As conditions continue to change, healthcare officials advise the public to stay up to date with coronavirus updates. Megan Key, Eyewitness News. LSU health officials are also screening patients at their outpatient clinics, asking a series of questions about where patients have traveled and any potential symptoms. Again, there's reportedly no cases of the coronavirus in the state.